everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you what I bought from Heat and again, which is this eyeshadow palette and uh, I'm going to create a small look with it as well. So I really like H&M H&M makeup and I don't really like, I've never bought anything from their actual line. Okay, I dropped something, sorry. I have bought um, one thing for, from their actual makeup line which is an eyeshadow stick eye color to go this one I like this one I use this as an eyeliner but what I really like about H&M makeup is the little things you find from the counter this is not from the actual line this is like something you find from the counter at the check at checkout so I just love the colors the colors call for me I like playing with blues and greens and I don't have anything quite like this before so you get five shadows like this I haven't haven't touched this or anything this is the first time I'm opening it up and the colors are lilac so I think starting from this side so lilac lilac then it's uh, turquoise then it's blue no wait lilac turquoise green purple and blue so the colors that i really wanted to try are these two here so it's turquoise and green colors so let's uh, swatch them really fast so first of all we're gonna go into lilac they are soft they do give off some kind of pigment that oh this is nice this is really pretty so this was lilac then turquoise yeah, I want to play with this, with this turquoise color. I like it. Um, green color. <gasps> pretty, pretty, pretty. I like it. Then we go into purple. Yeah, I like them. They're really pigmented, all of them, even the really light colors. And then we have the blue one. So, so from here, lilac, turquoise, green, pur purple purple and blue color so really pretty ones and I've yeah let's see if I can build this yeah I can build this lilac up one a bit more and I like them um yeah the colors all look like you can't really make one look from using all of them they seem a little bit well I don't know I don't think you can make one look using all of them. So I think you can make one look using one, two, three colors. So the purple toned ones. And then maybe I'm going to try to create a look using this um, uh, turquoise green. And then maybe adding in the blue toned one as well. And I like them. I think they look really pretty. And it was six, six euros. No, five euros. 4.99. It was 4.99 for all of these colors. And even though the lilac one, the first one, isn't very dark, it's still so pretty. So, you know what, let's start with the look. I'm going to come closer and let's create a look using these colours. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use this colour and this colour. And maybe when I get to the very end, maybe this one, the blue one as well. So, turquoise and green colour. And I am, yeah, I think I'm going to start with my finger. I'm going to go into this... Um, do I want to go into this one? No, let's go into the green color with my finger and just going to start putting it all at the outer part of my eyelid like this. So yeah, it gives off a really nice color actually. Well, as usual, I'm gonna do one eye on camera and the other one off camera just to save everyone's time. Oh, I like it actually. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. And yeah. Just going to pat it all on the outer part of my eyelid, like this. And now going to go into one of my brushes. I think I'm I'm going to use the half flat, half fluffy one. And going back into the same color, so this one. Let's see if it does grab a lot of color. I'm going to buff it out more into the into the crease line, and also going to go beneath the beneath the eye so on the lower lash line with this one so buffing it up into the crease and going down with it as well so I get this nice smoked out look on all of the eye basically yeah and keeping it all on the outer part of the eye like this 
I like it. I think the pigment is nice, you know. It's easy to work with. At least, well, I just dipped into it and it looks easy to work with. Let's see if it stays like that. So taking it a little bit more and going back in and buffing it in a bit more on the lower eyelash, eyelid, and just, you know, working it into the eye like this. And now going to go back into the palette and now going into the turquoise one again with my finger. And going into the inner part of the eye. Uh, yeah, there is a tone difference. Definitely, there is a tone difference. But not a very big tone difference. And keeping it with my finger on the inner part of the eyelid. See, like this, you know. Inner part of the eyelid. Oh, and this. I like it, actually. It is quite shimmery compared to the other actual green one and taking the same brush and going into this one and going into the eyelid again and just kind of buff buffing it in basically and yeah uh, I already got some on my inner corner so just going to pat it more on the inner corner and making it really shiny like this yeah it's nice i like how the eye looks but you have to add something in because in this little quad you kind of have the shades it's not a quad it has five colors a quad has four uh, so in this little palette you don't have a very dark shade and you don't have a very highlighty shade so i'm going to go into my highlighter which is my mio single eyeshadow um in breeze and going to go into this little with this little brushy brush and going to go with this one directly in to the very inner corner like this see now that's blinding you know i usually don't like blinding stuff but sometimes when you're doing any kind of a smoked out eye a blinding thing is a nice thing to have and also going to go above like this so you have the blinding stuff directly in the middle corner and also on the upper part of the eye. Uh, going back into my smudgy smudge much brush. It's not my actual smudgy smudge much blush brush, but I like it because it's half half flat, half fluffy. So kind of fluffing out the lower part and I also fluffed out the crease one. And I don't know, should I go in with the blue one? I think I'm gonna go in with the blue one, the darkest blue one as well, just to give a little bit of definition. Same brush little bit of definition to the outer part of the eye, you know, like this, just keeping it on the outer part, like this, up and down and just on the outer part the whole time, like this, and a little bit into the creasy, creasy crease line. Yeah, and it actually does work, so you can use the blue shade as well. So, great tip, you can use the blue shade. And I'm going to do the other eye as well, and then I'm going to come back and then we're going to add a little bit of dark, just to make the eye pop a little bit more. So I will be right back. Okay, so I did the other eye as well, I like it. You know, it's very important that you like the look. It doesn't matter if others like it or not, it's important that you like it. And I like my look. So what I wanted to try is I'm going to take this uh, lightest lilac with a little brush and I'm just gonna add it a little bit here in the very middle well in the very center of the eye I want to see it if it works or not and how it works well it doesn't really show up but I'm gonna say that it works a little bit on the other one as well just to like you know make the eye a little bit more rounded out that's that that's why you add it. I'm gonna go in a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And other thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna take the thing I talked about, the eye eye colour to go and going to put it here at the very end of the eye, at the very outer corner of the eye. Like this. I always like doing this because for me it always just brings 
the whole look together adding the little bit of darkness and as it's an eye color it's not really a line I'm going to take a brush and smudge it in a little bit into the other colors and I only put it on the outer part of the eyelid I didn't put it in the waterline so smudgy smudgy with a brush so it's a little bit smudged out more and just it gives some definition to the inner part outer part outer part of the eye and in total adds a little bit more to the eye look and I like it you know what I'm gonna try to do something with my hair but my hair never complies with me so maybe I'm gonna have the same hairdo when I come back at uh, the dark circles are here to stay no matter what I do I have uh, completely accepted it already I like the eye look I'm gonna add mascara maybe a little bit of highlight I'm gonna figure out what lipstick to add and I'm going to be right back away from the camera with the final product so see you soon and this is the final look so I added some lip color which is from by beauty in the color aubergine and uh, two coats of mascara all eyes on me from essence and this is the final look so I really like it <laughs> I even managed to do something with my hair which is kind of awesome because usually I just leave it be because my hair completely eludes me you know the longer the hair is the harder it is to do absolutely anything with it it's absolutely a nightmare doing absolutely anything with my hair, but I still love it because it's really long, you know, see? Really long. So, I like the look. It looks very um, 70s, you know, I could go like, Charlie's Angels, ha! Huh. But this, but I I should probably take my glasses off so you would actually see the look. I am, I'm blind as a bat without my glasses. That's why I love wearing my glasses. So the eyes, I love this palette. I love the green tones. I used uh, this one and this one all over the eye. I used this one a little bit at the very end and I used this one at the very center. This one is not showing off very much but otherwise the green tones are gorgeous. I love it. And I am going to do another video where I try out um, purple ones because I, I, I just love the purple ones. I Yeah, I love the green tones. I love the purple ones. Everyone always says that and for me, for me at least, that if you have dark uh, brown eyes, you shouldn't wear purple screens, blues, you know. No, you can make it work and it can look awesome. And I think it looks awesome. And, you know, if you don't agree, that's, you know, that's, that's, we all like different things. I think this looks amazing. I like the um, difference between the lip look and the eye look. And I, I just, I'm just really enjoying this. <laughs> so, thank you for watching me. I hope you had fun. I hope it was entertaining at least, if nothing else. And I like the look and I actually, I really enjoy the look. I, I do think this looks very like 70s hipster, you know. I, I have to do this again. And you know, ha. Oh. It, it looks like Charlie's Angels, you know, the big hair, green eyeshadow, really bright eyeshadow and a dark lip and, you know, the turtleneck and the pendant. It does look like Charlie's Angels, at least in my eyes. So thank you very much for looking at, for watching my little video. I hope I gave you something interesting. It's worth to buy it and I am going to try to do another look with the blues and I am definitely, when I have, when I have money again, I'm going to buy another quad. It not a quad, uh, not a palette from H&M because they have different ones and I'm going to try different things with those ones as well. And thank you for watching my little video. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again in one of my other videos, whether it's makeup or workouts or maybe at some point I am. I do really want to go into style videos as well. Hopefully I will at some point. So thank you and bye.